Hello everyone, I hope you all are fine and I hope everything great for you. In this video, I'm going to talk about the powerful ability in ETHAPS named as Multiple Tower. As you know, in the later version of ETHAPS, we could easily model some tower next to each other, but the main idea is for twin towers. As you can see in this project, I have done it. Uh, I don't want to push the point so far, I just want to show the process of work uh, for doing this, you have to go to option menu and allow the ETABs to do it. We click on allow multiple towers and after that, we go to edit menu, edit towers, you know, and the uh, modify or add uh, towers that we want it. For example, in this project, I've add T2. For example, that shows us second tower and I can modify it, you know and I can modify the number of stories, the height of the stories, and everything else I want. You know, uh, I don't want to push the point here so far, and I just want to, uh, as I said, the process of work, but the thing that is important here uh, is that for proper analyze in ETABs, we have to uh, introduce some load patterns that are specific for each tower. For example, here, uh, I will go to define load patterns, you know, for example, EXP or EXN or something as that shows the uh, earthquake loads, you know, for example, these are for tower one and I will introduce, for example, EX for T2 that shows the load for second tower. That is really important in proper design in EDAPS. You know, uh, this is the general view and I wanted to show the general uh, process of work, you know, and I hope you all enjoy this video and if you like the video, uh, please subscribe my channel to motivate me to create more videos. Thank you everybody. Thank you very much.